I've I've just finished watching the the um Fungio, Juan Manuel Fangio documentary, and I'm gonna give you my first my, my 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 thoughts about it. Okay, so um here we go. Well, I found it in, in, in incredibly um interesting, um you know because it actually went from the very beginning beginnings to from his of his career to the very very end from like um when um you know when he died and uh, they even mentioned some um his funeral um in the documentary so yeah so I found that incredibly interesting I also like the fact that um a, a number of notable um Formula One drivers um past and present um made an appearance and um were talking about the whole, you know, um, what he was like and what I also like the fact that um, it didn't. I mean, for the most part, it's um, it um, it centered around him, and it never really lost that. But I also like the idea that um, it sort of featured a lot more tech, te um, technology, technology in it than any other documentary I've ever seen. Like, uh, like you know, any other, you know, true documentary that is. Um, and uh, what I also liked was the fact that um, they talked at length at, about the 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 fat, the dangers and um, you know fatalities and how dangerous uh, motorsport and Formula One was at at the time when Fangio was racing. Um, yeah, um, and I I just. And I also liked the another major plus point is the fact that um, you know apart from the rate uh, the the current ra racing drivers and the past racing drivers that they that that were part of the of the documentary they also it also featured um quite have. A, a, you know, it also featured um, Total Wolf quite um, predominantly, um, and um, you know, I just I just like the whole insight of it. And um, the other the other thing that um, you know they mentioned was the um, the um, obviously the. Uh, nine, 1955 Le Mans disaster, and they talk they talk at length about that, and you know um, I found that really interesting. Um, but and finally, uh, what I also found interesting is that they that they actually uh, combined it with that they even featured a bit of. Um, you know, academic science behind it because and Dr. Andrew Bell um, from uh, Sheffield University um, my you know was featured in them um, in in the doc is is featured in the, the documentary and uh, it's very interesting and um, what he you know because he he did a study. Um, um and and they they came up with a 
way of of um, determining who who the greatest dr- driver um, so far in Formula One is. So I won't spoil it, but you know it, it's 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 a very nice film, and I really did enjoy it. I really did. I really would recommend it to anybody. Um, yeah. I, I I really did enjoy it. So um, let me know what you guys think about my review, and also let me know about what you think about think about the film. If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, why the hell not? And um, you know, it, it's it's definitely up up there with in my top. Uh, three uh, documentaries that I that, that I've seen about Formula Formula One and yeah I'm out of here guys bye